Ow. Oh. <laughs> that was too hard. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be drawing a dinosaur, Scorpius Rex. Oh, I really hurt my wrist. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <coughs> I'm leaving this in, I don't care. So, <laughs> Scorpius Rex. Right, so he's kind of, he's a creepy looking guy, isn't he? Like he's like, um, He's like a gnarly version, or like a Halloween version of a dinosaur. <laughs> it's really weird looking. So, kind of cool. So, I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and an eraser for these. And hit pause if I go too fast, right? So when I move my hand and stuff like that. So, we start with his eyes, right? So center point of my page is about here. That's like the center line of my landscape orientation paper, right? So we'll come up over to the right and we'll start his head with his eye up here in the right hand corner, right? So we're not like right up here in the corner, but down a little bit. So we'll start with sort of um, a standard sort of shaped eye, right? It's like um, sort of shaped like a lemon. So it curves around the top like that first and then curves underneath. Just there, so kind of like a lemon shape or an almond shape. And then he has one of those snake-like eyes, right? So one of those long sort of eyes like that. And then details around this. So we have, let's see, I've got to zoom in now because there is some details around his eye. Right, so say we got like some eyelid lines coming around here and then another one coming around the eye here and then like a sort of a bag bag under his eye like that let me do a couple more of those so like another little line here and then it's another big one coming around his eye here. Do, 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 do. Coming around like so. And there can be wrinkles and stuff all inside here. So the wrinklier, sort of, the better, you know? He's, he is a dinosaur, so. <coughs> Like so. Right, roughly like this. Sort of a long line that way. So then he has this like like bulge or bump that comes around like his forehead, right? And it's kind of it's it's drawn in pretty let's see, so we'll go like sort of here right and he's got these like bumps and scales and things on him right so these like warts <laughs> are they warts i don't know like there's these sort of bumping sort of things right like this and then this is going to come around the top of his head this way and it kind of bumps again here and then we bring it down Right, and then this has a sort of a section inside here. Curves around lots of these sort of pockets of stuff. Right, so this is like a bone that goes around his head. Let me come back a little further that way. So eventually this will come down to the front of his snout, right? So it'll come this way. And it can, again, it can be a bumpy sort of gnarly kind of, kind of curves around here and down towards his teeth, right? So he's got a real short snout compared to the other dinos we've drawn. And then there's like some wrinkle lines here. Or here, his nostril is here, just a sort of a circle. Then it comes down his nose here. 
some skin lines come down towards his teeth and some lines around that nose some light sort of details <clears throat> he has got some spikes on top of his nose here I think they actually go around the other side of his head so like so Right, and if you want, you can add sort of a dark sort of section inside here, like that, and then like some more sort of bone-like, sort of wrinkly sort of areas. Okay, so then, so like we'll do the front of his mouth here, right? And he's got like all these teeth that come across and go all the way back, right? So we'll just go like starting here and we'll have like a tooth that comes out. Sorry, we'll go this way. Spikes back up, right? And the teeth look like they kind of come out from his skin directly right so they kind of like so they kind of bump around like this so the teeth will come out from these sort of shapes right so normally you draw like a straight line and then the teeth it, it would come out from the straight line but these actually come out from the bumps right and his teeth go in all different directions, so it kind of makes it a bit easier. So you could do like a random sort of shaped teeth and then sort of fill in the blanks. So you're just kind of... It makes it kind of easier for us. So we're just going to go up in this direction doing this kind of bumping sort of line. Right. And you're getting to about, see, underneath his eye there, that's where we have that sort of skin line. Like so, right? And then you'll just add like the rest of the teeth. Right, like that and then sort of the rest of his jaw can come back like this way come back to like there and then the inside line will go say back here well, actually add another line I think it should be a little bit higher I think it should be there really and then his mouth will come down this way right so that could be just like an extra sort of skin line just there happy accidents there's no mistakes as Bob Ross would say So then we'll do a similar thing with his teeth on this side, right? So we'll just do these spiking sort of lines coming down. We're going to go diagonal all the way down to the bottom of his jaw, somewhere like down here. 
we'll aim for there, right? Quite a big sort of mouth area, right? It comes down like so, and then we got these teeth. And then his chin comes around. It was up like so. And again, it's real wrinkly. And it joins his neck going this way. kind of bumps down towards his arm kind of you know down like so and it goes down that way and then his jaw so he's got some like wrinkles on his chin and his jaw will sort of go and you can thicken up this line So his jaw will go sort of wrinkly, bump up around this way. And go up the side of his head there. And this has like more sort of texture lines and stuff and more wrinkles in around here. And so normally on like a dinosaur's mouth, you'll have these sort of lines coming around, you know, his, his gum, all these sort of bumping sort of areas coming around. And same sort of thing up here. So it's like his, just the bumps for his teeth and stuff coming around his teeth here. And then like some more skin and stuff here. Mm -hmm. And then he's got like some more warts or something coming around his head. Like this, these sorts of things. Line there, and like the side of his head then goes up. Around to there. Okay, and you can, he's real wrinkly, so you can make him like as wrinkly as you want. Like, like some wrinkle lines coming down his neck here as well. Again, there's more little warts and stuff, bumps. Like that. Okay, so then the back of his head, right? So we'll go, he's got all spikes coming out of his head as well. But we'll draw, we'll draw the main shape, right? So it goes, bring it back like so. 
so and then like pops up and then I'll go down this way eventually it'll start to have like plates or something like these sorts of lines coming out of it like so and there's all spikes coming out of his head as well but we'll draw these this stuff in first these details Right, might as well finish it going off this way so we have some more sort of bumping lines coming off and then these have armor plates on them like this Right, and then in here we've got some more texture. Before, there's loads of spikes up here, but we'll just add the texture that's on his head first. So, make lots of this kind of stuff going down here. Necklines and things. sort of warty parts. Right, and then up here we have um, spikes, like sticking small spikes at first, like coming out from the side of his head, just here. Kind of do as many of these as you as you'd like. And then we have the big spikes. So feel free to you know do this whatever way you'd like, right? So the spikes kind of go back down this way. They're like big barbs, right? I mean, if you go over any headlines, you can just erase what you shouldn't see inside. And then you just power through and keep adding them. So some might actually come out from the top of his head here. So like,
kind of go all the way down to like there. Right, so then if you need to, you can erase any lines. I'll just erase the lines we shouldn't see underneath the barbs that are going over his headline. Right, so if you want, you can add more than that or less. There might be like some small ones just at the front of his head here. Um, but that's basically the barbs on his head. That's the basic idea. Right, we just come down to finish his shoulder and his arm and stuff. So, so his shoulder sort of starts here, curves around, and then his forearm will come down this way. And then this has some extra sort of wrinkle lines coming around it, like for his armpit and stuff. Lines coming down, and the back of his arm will be here, kind of like a tricep sort of area. Lines coming down here, another line coming down that way. And again, we'll add some gnarly sort of warts every now and then. His shoulder, maybe a bit of a back line or something going that way, then like a skin line going that way, like so. I'm kind of making this up now as I go, I'm just sort of adding sort of the direction his skin is being pulled, you know, I'll make his belly will go back that way, just there. I think we should see some of his arm on the other side, just there. And I think it, this might have some barbs on it as well, actually. Mm, wrinkles and... So sometimes it's helpful in drawings like this to actually make your, your outside line this line on the edge of your character a little bit thicker than the rest. Sometimes, not all the time. Just makes it stand out a little bit more. Totally optional, of course. You know, give them different line weights. Oh, his tongue, I forgot his tongue. Um, giving them different line weights will add shadow in different places and things like that, so. Or the illusion of shadow. It's not actually a shadow. So, like that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. We'll add his tongue, actually. I forgot about that. So, comes out just sort of here from behind his teeth. Out and down, right here, and bring it back in. To there. And then we'll go back to this thickening. shapes and objects 
in the drawing. Like say like his jaw here, where you want it to be sort of shadowed up a little bit underneath. You know, stuff like that. Say like the bottom of these warts. See, it just makes them pop a little bit. And maybe some of these. Some of these necklines. And then up here. Um, and you know, sometimes it's cool to put like some drool, like these sorts of lines, like sticky drool coming, like a drip, and then some scars, it's always good to do some scars. Scariest Rex. <laughs> right, is that everything? More drool. Right, I think that's everything. That's how to draw Scorpius Rex. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.